Today we're going to be playing around a little bit with a CVA Scout in 243 Winchester. So this little rifle I had got from my mother to hunt with. If you guys want to check out the hunting video that we actually had a successful hunt, she got her first buck, her first deer that she's ever shot in her life on film. Uh, I will try to post a link in the description as well as maybe putting a card up in the video in the top right hand corner or something like that <clears throat> if you guys are interested in watching that video as well. The bullet that we used in that video was a 100 grain Sierra Pro Hunter and we are going to be doing a little bit of de load development with it today using the Hornady 90 grain ELDX bullets and the 95 grain Burger Classic Hunters. We're going to be using a variety of different powders including Vitivorian Hodgdon and Ramshot actually. We're going to be using the new Ramshot Grand powder on one of these loads and we're just going to see what kind of accuracy we can get with three round groups at roughly 90 yards. I have no idea where this thing is going to hit because the first shot I think was on a clean barrel and it was so high that it barely hit paper. So I changed targets because it was on a different box that I had that target on and I moved it down like 2.4 mils because that's how high it was. But I don't know if they're going to go where they're supposed to go now. So we're going to find out, but just pray to God <laughs> it does not hit the GoPro. I'm fairly confident that it's not going to hit it, but... You never know. So anyway, the first load that we're going to be testing, for YouTube's sake, by the way, we're on a private range. This is a single shot rifle. It's not even a bolt action. Single shot, one round magazine. We're on private property. There's no bystanders. I'm the only one out here and we have a safe backstop. That being said, we're going to move on to our first load, which is going to be the 90 grain Hornady ELDX with 37.3 grains of Vitivori N140. If you're interested in the specific details on the rifle and the ammo and the components and equipment and all that jazz, I will put those details in the description below for those who like to geek out over that stuff. This rifle has been heavily modified by myself, um, pretty crudely in some cases, but this is a Sharps pistol grip on here adapter thingy that we put this Midwest Industries tube on and a Magpul stock that's got a nice little cushy pad that we replaced it with. I, I kind of mess with this kind of lot and then we put a QD swivel stud sling thing on the front so um, it's actually kind of tricked out it was cheap until I got my hands on it and then I just started playing with it and now it's got all kinds of garbage attached to it but um, cool little gun hopefully it's going to shoot well it shot well with those 100 grain sears but I have yet to try these bullets in it so we're going to find out what it can do all right so fortunately it hit paper <laughs> so it hit paper and it did not kill the GoPro our velocity was 29.58 to start. We are using Nosler Brass, CCI 200 primers, and again, the powder and bullets will vary, but the brass is gonna be the same on each, and so is the powder, or I'm sorry, the primer. So far, pretty piss poor. 29.56 was the velocity on that. So the group on that was horrible. Velocity was 29.39 on that one. Average velocity was 29.51, and the extreme spread was 19 with a standard deviation of eight, or we'll say nine. But uh, the velocity was not bad as far as consistency goes, and it was fast enough for me to be okay with it. But uh, we are going to go ahead and move on right into the next one, which is going to be 45 grains of Vitivori N555. Now, mind you, this again was on a clean barrel, I'm pretty sure. So the first round I was hoping would have fouled it, but um, it may still be getting fouled in. I don't really know how many rounds it takes to do that, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to move on and go straight into the next group. 3,076 feet per second. Quite a bit faster, holy cow. 3,059. There's so much smoke, I can't even see the impact yet. Oh man, that's that's a terrible group too, right out of the gate. Golly. 3,081. Average velocity was 3,072 feet per second, extreme spread of 22, and a standard deviation of nine. So velocity characteristics are looking good, but the accuracy is horrible. So we're going to try one more time with the 90 grain ELDX. The last group that we are going to be shooting will be with 44.0 grains of Stayball 6.5 powder by Winchester. 
I said Hodgden earlier. I meant to say Winchester. I forget. Winchester's under Hodgden, but so it's kind of all the same thing, but that is technically a Winchester powder. Okay, next we are going for the top right diamond on the target. 2982. This plane is doing barrel rolls over top of me. I don't know if he's trying to show off or what, but it's working. You will see that every day. Wait a minute. I just saw where that thing hit. That is way the hell low. Something's something's off here. I don't know what's going on, but something ain't right. Okay, that's strange. 29.64. So it's consistently hitting low so far, but that is a gigantic point of impact shift. I can't see that third shot. I'm having a heck of a time seeing impacts through this thing. But I know that those first two were right next to each other. I don't know, it may have went off the paper, but you guys can see better than I can. The last velocity error was 3001. So our average velocity was 29.84. Our extreme spread was 43, and our standard deviation was 17.6. So the velocity consistency was crap, but Accuracy I can't even speak to because I don't know what happened to that third shot So I'm gonna go down and look at the target let the gun cool off for a minute And then I'm gonna come back and we'll uh, move on to the 95 grain classic hunter by burger Despite my better judgment. We are going to move forward with the next set of groups um, I'm Legitimately a little bit nervous right now because I don't know where this bullets going to go like the GoPro is very much in danger because the last group literally just went like six inches lower than where I was aiming. And before they were hitting like somewhat dead on. So I'm real confused, but uh, pretty sure when I went and turned the GoPro on, it was like shaking because it was nervous that it's about to die. And I'm, I'm a little, I fear for his life a little bit too. So I get where he's coming from, but the show must go on. So the next thing that we're going to test is 42 and a half grains of Vitivori N555 with the 95 Green Classic Hunter by Burger. Wish the GoPro and I luck because we're, we're gonna need it on this one. I I legitimately, I don't know where this is gonna go guys. Like I literally have no idea. I'm, I'm not like scared, but I'm not super comfortable with this because I'm not too sure this GoPro ain't about to detonate here in a second. And if it does, it's my fault. I'm not gonna blame anybody but myself, but I wanna get this on film for you guys, but Lord knows I'm not confident in uh, the point of impact of this thing anymore. So we're gonna go for the left side of the center diamond. The problem is that means it's gonna go somewhere, hopefully on the paper, but that's where I'm going to aim. So I don't really know where it's gonna hit, but that's what we're gonna aim at. So keep your fingers crossed, pray for me, wish for the best, and uh, we'll uh, hope that nothing bad happens here in a second. Okay, so it went way low again onto the bottom left diamond. I don't understand. I haven't done anything to change. The velocity on that was 28.53. Um, I'm just lost. I don't know what's causing these things to hit so low. Like, I don't know if I just broke my scope, but I didn't adjust the, I don't know. I'm just, I'm confused, but I'll get it figured out. Um, we're probably just gonna move the point of impact up after this one just to play it safe because I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's going on. So 28.54 was, or 28.53, the velocity on that one. I'm gonna keep the same point of aim here. Hopefully they'll group down on that bottom left diamond. Okay, it looks like those two are touching. 28.70, so the velocity's fine. That wasn't too bad. Um, I think that actually might have been my fault. It's the crosshairs on this thing are really coarse. Like they're very thick. And I'm used to having a lot more magnification because I'm really spoiled. So I'm actually not upset about that group at all. I'm not upset about that last ELDX group either, but I think the velocity on this one was more consistent. We're gonna go over that here in a second, obviously. But uh, not bad. Yeah, so the average velocity was 2863, which isn't super fast, but it's a 95 grain bullet. Like. She was shooting a 100 grain bullet, and I think she was shooting it 
quite a bit slower than this. I can't remember, but uh, the extreme spread was 16.5 feet per second. So we're 17 feet per second. I round these numbers off normally, but average velocity 2863, extreme spread 17, and a standard deviation of seven. So very tight. I like to see that. That is good. We're going to move on to the next batch here and we will continue in a moment. So I apologize if you can hear this person uh, pounding a fence post in. I'm sure it's annoying, but hopefully this mic will obscure that a little bit. But uh, we are going to be moving on to the next group. Um, it's going to consist of 49 grains of Ramshot Grand. I believe that's the grain off max in the Hodgson manual with the 95 grain Classic Hunter. The rest of these are gonna be the Classic Hunter bullets. I went ahead and moved the point of impact up. It should have moved up like 2.4 mils. Now, I watched the reticle track in the scope as I moved it this time. So I'm positive that it wasn't the scope being the problem before. I still can't explain everything that just happened, but um, the point is that last group shot better, the group before that shot better. I questioned the first two groups that we shot as far as consistency was concerned. So I'm not as nervous now, but I'm still just confused. Um, but the fact is, I think that the scope's fine, it was tracking, so it should hit where we aim, or pretty close to it on this next group. And I think we're gonna aim for the left side of the center diamond, and then probably aim for the center of the diamond to be done, as long as these aren't like in a weird uh, point of impact. But again, we're doing 49 grains of Ramshot Grand, same bullet, and we're going to go for the left side of the center diamond. Okay, I literally didn't even see the point of impact, so I don't, I don't even know where that went. Oh, we went over it. Okay, I see it now. I got it. I know what's happening. The velocity on that was 29.27, so it just moved farther than it was supposed to. That's my fault. I probably overshot it. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the next one. I'm not gonna change the point of aim on this. Um, it's just gonna probably be amongst the other group that we had shot earlier. So just forgive me for not putting that in a better spot. That's my fault. Twenty nine fifty one. So they're not grouping super, but we're getting some speed out of it. Well, that one fell right in there with the other shot. Twenty nine fifty two. So. Our velocity was average of 29.43, that's pretty quick. Extreme spread of 25 and a standard deviation of 12. So in a gun like this, that's not horrible, but I think it could be better. We are going to shoot our last group of the day. I'm probably going to move the point of impact down a little bit because I wanna keep it out of those other groups, which I think it will be in there if we don't make a change. And we're gonna shoot for that center diamond, just the dead center. Okay, moving on to the last group of the day, we're going to have 42.0 grains of Stayball 6.5, which is what threw the really weird group earlier, and then we've consistently been lower, so I'm not going to blame the powder, but we're just going to go ahead and shoot for the center of the center diamond, right, right smack dab in the middle of the target. I don't know where these are going to hit. I'm assuming they're going to go somewhat close to where we're aiming, but I'm just not going to risk the, the GoPro. I just want to give myself a little more cushion. All right, cool. 2789 was the velocity on that guy. Quite a bit slower than those ram shot ones. 2861, holy lord. That is a really big difference in velocity. I don't know what caused that. That's, golly, that's a, like an 80 feet per second difference? 70 maybe? That's a, wow. That's a, not looking real good velocity wise. Goodness gracious. That group wasn't stellar anyway. 2837. So that was a really weird jump in the velocity. That like really changed a lot quick. So. Our average velocity was 28.29, our extreme spread was 72, and our standard deviation was 30. Wow, <laughs> not good. So, uh, that kind of, you know, is a not exactly something we're real proud of, but 
fortunately, we already know um, what not to test again. So we're not gonna use most of that. I actually might keep looking at that Ramshot Grand combo. Um, I might try some different bullets with that, but I was happy with the speed on that. I mean, cause the thing is the person that's gonna be hunting with this does not do long range shooting. She does not know anything about ballistics or really much about guns. So the fatter, the, sorry, not the fatter, the faster and flatter it shoots, the better, as long as it's a deer killing capable bullet which I'm not saying that varmint bullets aren't deer killing capable, but I would like to save the meat because we are hunting for the meat. So probably going to pursue the Ramshot Grand with the 95 grain bullet if I had to guess based on the velocity and the accuracy was acceptable because again, she's not like a precision shooter by any means. So that's good enough to kill a deer at any of the distances she's going to hunt with. I'm not positive what we're going to stick with yet, but that's probably what we're going to work with going forward. So thank you guys for watching. Very much appreciate it. Always, or as always, rather, please leave comments that are relative to uh, what you would like to see going forward in the future, uh, whether it be with this gun and any kind of gun cartridge configuration that at least you know that I have. <laughs> like. Um, if I don't have it yet, I'll, I'll think about it, but chances are if I have to go buy something really expensive, that's not going to make the queue unless everybody wants to see it. So, um, basically just help me out. Let me know what you want to see going forward in the future. I'm not going to be able to do everything, but I will try to like do what most people want to see as far as it's feasible. And it's something that, um, fits inside of our, our goals. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay risen, take care, be safe, and we will hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.